Hello, everyone. Those who are joining, please say where you are from. Hello, Switzerland. Hi, Paris, Switzerland. San Diego, London. <laughs> Zurich, London, Austria, Spain. Wow, all over the world. <laughs> Munich, Germany, India, Rome. Wonderful. I'll wait a couple of more minutes for more people to join and then, and then we start today's webinar. Mexico, wow. We have an amazing global gathering tonight. Perfect. Any new attendees joining, please just drop in the chat box where you are from while we are waiting for more people to join. London. Great, Frankfurt, Amsterdam, sunny LA, wonderful, Zurich, Austria, Beirut, Zurich, okay, let's wait one more minute and then we start. I appreciate we have one hour, so I want to make the most of this hour with you. So just one more minute and, and then we start. Okay. Okay, good evening, good morning, beautiful people, wherever you are in the world. And thank you so much to those of you who join, join this webinar live. And thank you to also to those who will be watching this webinar in replay. Um, and thank you so much for, for the Small World and Pamela for organizing this event and putting everything together and for this opportunity to be presenting this uh, uh, webinar to you. Um, my name is Natalia and I am uh, now in uh, Portugal, sunny Portugal as well. Um, my origin is from Ukraine. I, I lived uh, in London for many years and I am um, a self-mastery and consciousness coach and a healer. And I help people to break through their limited, limited emotional and mental patterns so they could step and unleash the power of their true self and also harmonize their life and live happy and fulfilled which every every single one of us wants and is entitled to absolutely absolutely entitled to 
And tonight I will be talking to you about the most important subject, the subject of ourselves. And not only about ourselves, but our true selves, the essence of who we truly are. And why the subject, subject is important? Because the way you live your life, uh, the circumstances and people you attract in your life, and the level of happiness and fulfillment depends on you depends on you being true to yourself. And what does it mean to be true to yourself? We'll talk about, about that in more details as we go along. But the first and foremost important thing, what does it mean to be myself? What, what, who, who am I? Because um, since a childhood, we are used to, um, to have different opinions, different thoughts about ourselves. We listen to what other people tell, tell us about ourselves. And of course, we, we take our experiences as, as the reflection of who we truly are. And it's great that, that the experiences in our life were, uh, were very fulfilling and, and positive and gave us power and strength. But what if these experiences were not the most pleasant ones? Uh, what we, if we, um, we experienced failure or we experienced traumas? Or what if we did not really expe have experience that gave us this confidence to believe in ourselves? Now, when it comes to the subject of our true self, I, I love to take people to the deeper layer of themselves and the layer which is beyond our concepts, beyond our thoughts and beyond our experiences, the, the essence of who we truly are. Because this is the place of our true power. And this place needs to be seen, needs to be recognized, needs to be unleashed. And tonight, I, I invite you to do this with me. So before we go in, into the actual um, subject of ourself, um, just to make things um, easy, I love to to uh, make an analogy when we talk about our inner organization, uh, an analogy of an old fashioned structure. And this old fashioned structure is the carriage, the horse, the driver and the passenger. And in this analogy, the carriage represents our physical body. That's the body that we all know well. The driver represents our mind or our intellect, our mental body. The horse represents our emotions or our emotional body. And the passenger, the one hidden inside the carriage, represents the essence of ourselves, of who we truly are. Now, when I refer to our true self, the other terms that um, can be used to describe this place in ourselves is our authentic self, our soul, our being, our state of conscious presence. These all refer to the same existential reality of ourselves. So coming back to the structure, as you can imagine, for the structure, to move in the direction that the passenger wants. What, what needs to happen? All the elements must be in a proper order and the structure must function in totality as a whole, 
a, a totally a total so it's important that the driver understands the passenger the direction of the passenger and directs directs the horse to, um, to go in the direction of the passenger of the passenger now coming back to ourselves what happens that our mind must take the instructions from our true self. And for that, our mind needs to be silent and still. What normally happens in our busy life, we are so busy, 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 busy doing, doing, doing things. And we have so much thoughts, traffic of thoughts all the time coming in and out, in and out. And this cloud of thoughts very often prevents us from hearing the directions, hearing, hearing uh, our deeper wisdom, hearing our uh, deeper truths. Or let's take our emotions. Many of us know that the most stupid things in life we do when we are overly emotional, overly emotional, when we are emotionally overwhelmed. We can go completely in the different direction if we follow our emotions. Well, take it, let's take an example. If we feel um, if we feel frightened, if there is if there is the dominant emotion of fear, we will always be limiting ourselves in our life or if if we, our predominant emotion is anger we can destroy things in our life and destroy our relationship or if our emotion is insecurity or guilt then we will also stay small and limit our opportunities for growth and and won't let us to come to our full potential now the truth of life is that if you are experiencing difficulties problems or challenges in your life it means that you are separated from yourself you are either too much in your mind or you are too much in your emotions by the way the, the mind and emotions that they, they function together the emotion triggers thoughts so it triggers emotions so they they generally come together at, and create what is called a story a story that you tell to yourself about your life and about you and who you really are. So the cluster of thoughts form your beliefs and concepts about yourself and about life, and they are reflected by corresponding emotions. And all of that, all of that is, is actually on the surface level. So you have your your past, your past experiences, your your um, your thoughts, your emotions. They are on the surface level, and the, on the deeper level, when you step back, you can experience your pure self, the your your you your true self. What we what we are talking about tonight. Now, I would like you now, all of you now, just to do a simple um, guidance because I would love to give you the actual experience of being in this place. Uh, because it's, there is no use to be talking about that unless we don't actually get a, an experiential understanding. So if you are uh, ready, um, I invite you just to sit still. We will do a simple uh, 
guided meditation if you wish. Um, there is no need to visualize anything or imagine anything. I just want you to um, relax, sit with your spine straight wherever you are sit sitting and just place your palms upward on your knees. It is best that you close your eyes just to go deeper inside yourself. So please sit still and close your eyes. And let's bring our attention to the sensation in your right hand. Just bring your focus or bring your awareness to the sensations in your right hand. And now bring your awareness to the sensations in your left hand. You may experience some tingling in, in your hands. That's absolutely fine. And now please bring your awareness to your left cheek. And now bring your awareness to the right cheek. And now feel the sensation of your body. The totality of your body. No need to imagine anything, just feel yourself in your body. Feel yourself in your body, just the sensation I am. Very simple. And now feel if there is any warmth in your body. Just the feeling of warmth. And now feel if there is any, the feeling of good in your body. Just, it feels good. Feels good to be in this body. Now, feel if there is any sweetness in the body. Just a sensation, just sweet sensation. Now, you may experience that some parts of your body contain tension, contain tension or resistance or congestions. 
Now, don't pay attention to those at this point of time. And don't pay attention to the outside noises as well. Just focus on feeling sweetness, feeling warmth, feeling good in your body. Just come more to yourself. Don't let anything distract you. Now, the tensions that you may feel in your body or resistances or any kind of congestions are all the recordings of the emotions and thoughts from your emotional body and your mental body. They all are reflected in your physical body. And your ability to feel good and your ability to feel good depends on, on the amount of these tensions that you carry. These tensions or um, in other words can be called unhappiness. All that, all that unhappiness that you gathered throughout your lifetime. All these things will prevent you from feeling good in your body to the degree that to, to the degree that, that, that you store them. So the more you work on releasing the negative tendencies, the negative emotions, or the negative and limiting mental patterns from your body, the more of this good feeling and sensations of of sweetness and comfort and feeling good will be in, in your body, will be in you. Now, feel your body more. I know that outside noises might, may have distracted you, but notice that, that this is your, your mind which is distract, distracted. Don't pay attention to any distractions. Just stay inside yourself and feel if there is any, um, any feeling of love in your body. That sweetness, that love, feel. There is any vibration of love. You may, some of you who are, who are more sensitive may feel even, even warmth or tingling or, or even some energy moving through your body. Because what we are doing now, it's not simply talk. We are, um, we are in high frequency and energy field. And you are by even by looking like that at yourself, you are activating this part of yourself which you normally don't pay attention to. So once you start looking at at yourself like that, just simply being, you, you will feel that that sensation of sweetness, of, of goodness, of, of being home in yourself will grow more and more and more.
And if you pay more attention to it daily, it will expand and it will get more power. Now, I would like to, to invite you to take a step a little bit deeper and put aside at this point of time, just for this moment, put aside all the thoughts, all your past memories, all your past experiences, everything what you've done in your life, just put it aside for a moment. And also put aside any concerns about the future, any planning, any worries. Just don't touch the future. And come deeper, yes, come deeper to the ve this very moment. For some of you, the mind might come. Just don't pay attention to that. Don't pay attention to any distractions. Just go deeper, deeper inside. See, your mind can move only in the past or in the future. But when you are still and in the moment, your mind cannot move, so, it, so it's, 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 it becomes still. And feel more of that stillness inside. So we are going deeper inside ourselves. Now that sensation that you feel in your body, that warmness, that goodness, that, that, that sweetness, that love, this is the fundamental life. And this life is in you and in everything around you. And this life has an incredible intelligence. If you look, for example, at nature, everything functions harmoniously. All the trees know when to bloom, flowers know what, when to blossom, Animals know what, what they should be doing. Everything functions in perfect harmony. Well, same happens inside your body. Your cells know what, what they should be doing. You are not maintaining your body. It's all done for you. And this tremendous intelligence is at the core of, of, of yourself. And by looking at yourself like that and getting your mind still and getting rid of all that emotional turbulence in yourself, you are becoming more and more powerful because now you are empowering yourself with that was that 
enormous, tremendous intelligence. In other words, you are stepping in your power. And this intelligence knows what you need to do in life. And to be true to yourself means that you aligning yourself and you are acting in accordance to the directions of this higher intelligence. So, com coming back in to our to our analogy of of the structure. So the the passenger needs to give directions to the driver, and the driver directs the carriage. So the same happens happens here that. Inner intelligence gives the directions to your mind and you're moving in your life smoothly and harmoniously. So explore more that dimension of yourself now. is sink deeper and deeper. Don't worry if there are any resistances, it's absolutely normal. You don't pay attention to them. Let them be there. And see if there is, um, if there is spa space opened up in you. See, there is spaciousness, spaciousness about you. You are not so suffocated anymore. You are not so contracted anymore. And explore that spaciousness. Just feel yourself more and more. Explore where, where you are. See that, that there, is, there is not really a limit to, to you. All limitations that we place on ourselves, we place on our mind. So, once we shift our state to our true self, to our being, we suddenly see that there are no limitations. If we move aside our mind, there are no limitations. And if we make our practice to stay in ourselves throughout the day and bring more attention to that place where you just are, to that spaciousness, to that feeling of sweetness, of love, you will see that slowly the, the mental and emotional limitations will start to lose its potency. It will not happen immediately. It will take time for that. But 
if you will be paying attention to yourself and working on yourself in this way, you will see that gradually you will become more spaciousness and more free inside. Inner transformation is a process. It's a process of gra gradual shift from your limited state, which is functioning in your mind and your and your emotions mainly, to to the state of your true self, where you simply are. You can still use your mind, you can have emotions, but you will not be affected by them. You will be very present, very aware, alert, unconscious. Imagine what, what you can do if you don't have fear. I'm giving you a moment just to be with yourself and be in that place. Now, because this intelligence has such a power, the moment you start working on, on expanding this intelligence, it will start adjusting the circumstances of your life. Because the way it works is that you create every day your life with your thoughts, with your emotions, with your actions. And because not not in all, all the time these actions are, are conscious. We experience a lot of difficulties and, and problems and struggles in our life. But once, once we start acting from this place, of our true self, we empower our actions, we empower our thoughts, and we make conscious actions in our life. And that's how we can transform our circumstances and, um, and life will be also helping you because life supports life. This is intelligence is the same in every one of us and it's already perfectly there. And each, uh, each one of you has access to this intelligence. And there is, there is nothing that, that needs to be done to, to improve you or, or, or this intelligence. 
But what needs to be done is to reduce that, that negative emotions and that, and that excessive thoughts that, that cloud our perception of this intelligence. And this intelligence is fundamentally who we are. It's our true nature. It's our true self. Now I invite you to feel more of yourself. Just expand yourself and feel more and more of that warmth, of that sweetness, of that feeling good. Just more and more of yourself. And feel, feel that, that sensation of love. Feel, feel love. And what you can say to yourself, you can acknowledge yourself by saying, I love you, thank you. I love you, thank you. You can say it quietly. I love you, thank you. This is the essence of self-love. To acknowledge yourself to acknowledge the deeper place in yourself. Say, I love you. Thank you. And to those who are feeling, feeling that feeling good doing saying that i invite i invite to make this your daily practice not even a practice but throughout the day, the day just bring attention to that place in yourself and acknowledge yourself say i love you thank you i love you thank you I love you. Thank you. It's very rare that we that we acknowledge ourselves like that. And that's the basis of self-love, of honoring that place, the true place of ourselves. Just acknowledge yourself. You feel already the, the energy has shifted and um, has been, has been opening up, something opened up in you.
just feel yourself and stay with, with that sensation of yourself. It's not often that we allow ourselves to simply be. We are all busy, busy doing things. Just allow yourself to be. To be as you are. Because you are unique and you are perfect. And you are here to express fully your uniqueness, your unique talents, your unique skills, your unique capabilities and live your fullest potential and be happy. That's, that's why, that's what your life is about. To be fully happy and fulfilled. And the way how you can be fully happy and fulfilled is by being 100% true to yourself. Meaning by being true to that deeper aspect of yourself. Not to your mind, not to your emotions, to that essence of yourself, to your being. And life will show you immediately if you're being true to yourself or not. If you, if you experience difficulties, problems, that means that there is some, in some aspect, you are not being true to yourself. Because once you are true to yourself, you will be fully aligned and your life should be harmonious and happy. And that's, that's the process of inner work. To unleash fully your power and remove and, and adjust things that are causing unhappiness or problems in your life. So please slowly open your eyes. Don't leave that place. Don't leave that place of, of yourself. The place of your true self, the place of being. Stay, stay in this place. And um, I would like to invite you to ask me any questions. You can type them in Q&A box. Thank you so much, Nick. Thank you. Anyone has any questions? Thank you. Thank you, Rosara. I'm really happy to hear that. Eileen, thank you so much. Okay, if I give now that was yes, that was a guided meditation, but I would like to uh, explain to you that this should not be simply a meditation. This should be something that you that will become your experience. Yes, initially 
we will we will uh, we will we will do it as a practice because that's how we develop our strengths and develop our power and develop our being. Even to say that we develop it is is not right because it's already perfect. There is nothing to develop. It's just that we train our mind to get silent, to subside, and we get uh, getting rid of all things that don't serve us. All this negativity, all this all these emotions. Now. For those of you who are drawn to um, to ex to work on self mastery and on raising their level of consciousness and raising their their vibrations and aligning their life, I have um, I have a few places, a few openings for um, to work with me. So. Um, you can email me if you are interested, and we can schedule a chat so to to see if that's if that's right if that's right for you. So those of you who are interested, by all means, do get in touch with me, and uh, um, I'm also planning um, a group a group training and those of you who would be interested in in the group training uh, by all means you can you can contact me i'm also doing regular um, meditations which are mainly to remove um, to open up the energy channels and remove all the all these negative emotions or or to break the our mental mental limiting patterns so for those who of you who are interested you can always contact me and i would be happy to suggest what is best for you to do thank you thank you anyone else has any questions if you if you experience something, because some of you, I feel some of you, um, so not all of you want to share your experiences, that's fine, because uh, what I give, it's, it's, it's always, it's not just words, it's energy. And I know some of you may have certain insights or may have certain questions that they would like to ask privately. And if that's... Um, Yes, um, email, yeah. Yes, the email is, email was just posted. Uh, Pamela, if you could just uh, type the email, yes, natalia at basantagmail.com. You can always find me through this email. I would be happy to answer all your questions. If you have questions in private, if there has been some insights for you or there has been certain um, resistances that you know you need to work with and there are some of you that might have these certain energies that they need they know they need to work through and and they know they need to um to break certain patterns so by all means please do contact and i will talk talk to you um i'll talk to you privately We have a couple of more minutes. I would like to keep <laughs> to keep the timing. So if any anyone else wants to find ask anything. Um sorry, it would be yeah, the chat boss. That would be step by step. Yes, in terms of healing. Uh, we hold a lot of our memories from the past experiences. We hold it in our energy field. We hold it in our body. And, and it takes, yeah, it takes time to really to work through that and release that. So the way I work, uh, we are doing it both. We are doing, we are working on that from, from two directions or from two sides. From one side, we are working on actually releasing that, that, that um, emotion or that limited pattern. And 
At the same time, we are working on shifting the state of consciousness to that higher state of being or conscious presence that you experience today. Because this way, things will move faster. Because it's, it's high, extremely high, ex very high energy frequency that, that helps to break through a lot of things that you don't need. And, and it's very efficient to work on it this way. So, Lawrence, if you would like to, to know more details but, and, or if you have a specific thing that, that, that you, you would like to address, uh, please do, um, do get in touch with me on this email and I'll, I'll explain to you better what would be best in your specific case. But yes, it's a process to get, imagine we collected so much, so much stuff. Imagine we collected so much stuff for all these years. We've been collecting in our mind, in our experiences, in our, in our emotions, all that, that masses of memory that we carry. Yes, it takes time to get rid of that. Although we are already perfect, there is, there is no work needed for us to be ourselves. We are already perfect, we are already complete, we are already fulfilled on, on our deeper le le level. But we just need to reduce that limited tendencies, negative tendencies, our limited mind patterns all the destructive tendencies, we, we need to reduce all of that and as much as possible to get rid of our unhappiness, as much as possible. So we are getting ourselves right and we are getting our life right. And then we, we are happy and fulfilled. That's the process. Thank you, thank you, Nick. The moment versus Bray. Thank you so much, Lawrence. Yes, by all means, please do contact me. So let's see the time. We are almost at the end. Like last, last questions. Anyone? Okay, I guess there are no more, no more questions. Thank you so much to everyone who joined me live. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You don't even imagine the potency of what you've done today. Because this is the super, the most powerful and the most amazing thing that you can do is to look at yourself in such way and unleashing yourself in this way and i do hope that that each of you uh, will continue the, the work and will continue um will continue to pay attention to that place in yourself and if you need help with all to get rid of your stuff let's put it this way you are always had welcome to contact me or um or work on that yourself you if you feel that's that's what's best for you so thank you so much and thank you once again to uh to the to small world for organizing that and to pamela for putting that together thank you Thank you so much. Thank you. I really hope it serves you and your consciousness raised and your, um, your frequency raised. And if we manage to get that in, in an hour, we've done a really, really good work. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you.